We have thousands of thoughts every day, and some are very negative, some are very positive, some are funny. Your own mind is a whole civilization of little thoughts, or like little people, and they're all saying something all at once. I started being an artist at a very young age, and I haven't quit. I'm 40 years old now, and by age five, I knew this was absolutely what I wanted to be. People might think it's unusual that I live out in the middle of nowhere, but I do believe that artists should be where they're not supposed to be. I think that uh, if you're gonna have an effect on people is to be in uncomfortable situations. Each piece is unique. You know, it's got its own personality. There's something about this balance between masculine and feminine, good and evil, light and dark. It's all about balance, controlling this chaos, and while telling a story all at the same time. What inspires me is humanity, history, human behavior, human psychology, the modern world, the old world, everything. The process is that there's really no process. I create a frame or a layer for it to, to rest upon, and then all the smaller elements get added beyond that. And so I, I work from big to small. Everything gets its original identity removed somehow. You know, the materials I use are these mass-produced things. And so I take one of out of these thousands, if not millions of things, and I make it brand new. And maybe symbolically with my works being more monotone, maybe that's a color sense of expressing that, that we're more in a gray zone. So I try to culminate all that together into one. I'm a builder and an artist. I do it because nobody's telling me to do it. I'm doing it because I want to be the master of something. I do it because there is a drive to keep going and going, and it really just comes down to being of a selfless service to mankind.